Now let's take a further look at how Nigeria's legislature has fared in the past 58 years of the nation's independence. And I'm now being joined from Oere, the Imo State Capital, by a law teacher at the Bayes University, Dr. Sam Ahmadi. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining me on the News at 10. It is known that our legislature has not existed for straight 58 years, but how would you describe the state of the lawmaking arm of government in Nigeria today? Uh, thank you very much. I think first uh, we need to acknowledge, to start from what the UN Economic Commission for Africa said in 1995. They said that the state of the literature in Africa is one of underdevelopment in terms of first, legal capacity. Literature in Africa lack the capacity to have um, quality personnel in terms of bureaucracy. Two, independence. They, they are usually not independent. And thirdly, they have the, the, like, the capacity to make transformative laws. So from these three uh, uh, paradigms or three perspectives, we can say that the legislature in Nigeria has not done very well. To be fair, one, we've not yet built the bureaucratic, the bureaucratic capacity for lawmaking. If you look at uh, different countries, you see that usually the legislature has a very solid bureaucracy in terms of uh, legislative aids who have capacity for issues of budgeting, fiscal policy, you know, expansion, public policy. Uh, we don't need to that. I was part of putting together what now is the, the Nigerian uh, Institute of the Steve Studies it used to be a policy uh, pro project of the National Assembly. We will talk about the National Assembly uh, project and research office, not yet operational fully. So essentially, the elastic capacity. Second, in terms of independence, the tendency has always been in Africa for the executive to also think that this legislature is perhaps a mere appendage or some sort of inconvenience. And so we've seen so much dogfight between the executive and legislature bordering on intolerance in order to allow the legislature to exercise its lawmaking and oversight function. Sometimes, too, legislators have been prone to annex themselves to the executive because they want to have spoils of battle, they want to make money, they want to have bureaucracy. I remember a special advisor, some legislators, senators, thought they should have their own private jet, just like the printers is prepared airfield. I say no. So there's a sense in which there's a mismatch of both responsibility and obligation. And so we can say that the, the legislature in Nigeria since 1960 has shown some improvement in terms of lawmaking. We've seen some laws, the FOI bill, we have seen the, uh, uh, the governor's law in the petroleum sector, even though not yet signed. So there's some improvement. But essentially, this legislature has not risen to the game to provide leadership in terms of laws and policies that can transform the institution. It still lacks both the bureaucratic, democratic power and the political sophistication to engage the executive in a balance of power without undermining democracy.